What's up, you guys? It's your big bro, Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. All right. I want to thank you guys for your continued love and support over here. And I really do appreciate you guys. I don't know how much. Y'all know I'll be telling y'all that a lot. Um, I really do appreciate y'all. And thank y'all for being here as well. Um, today, we're going to get you guys some um, messages from your spirit team, right? Messages from your spirit, guys, whatever you want to call it. Same thing. Let me get my notes so I can uh, write the timestamps down. All right, so we got the converse. We got number two is a door, and number three is a gumball machine. All right, so you guys, group number one is going to be. The Converse shoe. Okay, group number one. Okay, group number two is going to be the door. The door. All right. It's group number two. Group number three is going to be the gumball. Gumball machine. The gumball machine. Okay. Group number three. You guys can pause the video and see which one of those resonates the most with you. All right. And we're going to go ahead and get on into group number uh, one with the converse okay we're gonna see what uh spirit has for you guys right now what you guys should know let me go ahead and clear the energy out get a little water you know what you guys i want to see what you guys need to to surrender right now okay <clears throat> okay, so your spirit team wants you guys to surrender your attachment to the results, okay? The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. And this is all about you guys manifesting, what you're trying to manifest, what you want to happen, you know? The desired results that you want to happen to your situation. And what your spirit team is saying right now is that, okay, what you do when you manifest is you put it out there, right? Put out there what you want to manifest and then you let go of the attachment to it. Like, don't be keep coming back. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you're planting a seed, right? You plant, you plant a seed. You're not going to keep coming back every five minutes to see if it's growing because you know that shit is not growing yet. You feel me? You have to plant the seed and you have to, you know nurture it whatever however you do that with fertilizer or whatever water it all that stuff but you let it go you feel me you allow it to do what it's going to do you don't keep you don't uh what is that micromanage you know you don't micromanage your results you don't micromanage the outcome you allow it to breathe and have energy a lot of us when we micromanage things we snuff out the energy right the energy needs to flow and it needs to 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 move freely within your situation but if you're holding on to it this tight, you you don't you cannot allow it to 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 flow within your situation. And when it's not when it's unable to flow, then you're not gonna get any results. It's it can't it can't like grow like that. You feel me? It grows through that movement, to that to that that flowing movement, right? The energy has to move and go and go where it needs to go. You feel me? Let's see what else we got going on here for you guys. What are the messages? That we need to hear right now. <clears throat> oh, damn. Yes. Yes, you guys. Blossoming abundance. Spirit is like, yeah, you guys are manifesting abundance out the yin yang. Y'all don't realize it. But the thing is, is that you run the risk of fucking up all this abundance. <laughs> Part of my French, y'all know that's how I talk over here. It's it is what it is. Um, you guys don't know that you're messing it up by focusing too much on it by putting time limits on it, right? Y'all don't know how many people I hear say, "Oh my God, it, it has it hasn't happened yet." Um, I'm starting to believe that it's not gonna happen. You you hear that key word, key phrase? I'm starting to believe it's not gonna happen. What does that mean? When you as soon as you put that out into the universe, that means it's not gonna happen. You don't fucked up right there. You feel me? That's what it is. You feel me? That's why you gotta watch what you say. 
and you got to watch what energy you put on the things that you want to manifest. If you want to manifest, this is like your child, your baby. You feel me? Your seed, whatever you want to plant, is like your child, your baby. Well, let's say if you had a real baby in your hand, those those of us who got kids, you feel me? You got your real baby in your hand, you know, your baby's depending on you. Are you going to sit there and say, I hope you don't grow. You're not going to grow. You haven't grown up yet. You can really say that. That's 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 a little twisted. That's a little sick, you know? Because I can't imagine saying that to my child. Like, oh, you're not going to grow. You're not going to da-da-da. That's weird, you know? That's weird. So that's the same thing with your dreams. It's like... Watch what you speak over your dreams. Don't put no limitations on it. Tell it, oh, you gotta grow now. If you don't come by Thursday, that means you're never gonna happen. Yeah, that's how you mess your. That's how you mess yourself up. You guys got too much. Y'all got too much to lose. That's what Spirit is saying. Y'all got too much to lose right now to be with the with the with the fuck shit. You feel me? Like five five five. I just saw. Y'all got too much to lose. Y'all need to change. Somebody really needs to change their attitude. That's what I'm getting. Somebody really, really needs to change their attitude when it comes to. Patience, having patience. Now that's some tough love. It's like change your attitude because a lot of y'all have been fucking up your own blessings, you know, getting in your own way, sabotaging your own self. And that's what your spirit team, this is coming through from your ancestors too. It's like they're like, yo, you need to stop doing that. You need to take accountability for your actions and the energy that you put on the own, your own things that you're trying to manifest, right? Like if you want a new job and you ain't it ain't coming through. The minute you start thinking, oh, ain't never going to happen, da, 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 that's what's going to happen because that's what you're putting your most, your, your your emotions into. You've convinced yourself. You, When you think about it, a lot of times those emotions, oh, oh, I can't have whatever, they come out the strongest. Why? I don't know. That's why y'all need to flip it around to where what comes out the strongest is that I am going to have this or I am living this route right now. I do have it right now, you know, and then let it go. That's the kind of energy you want to send out into the universe, not the opposite, right? On the bottom of the deck, we have man holding a heart. This could be somebody thinking about you guys, whether you're male or female. This could be um, a man or woman, you know, thinking about approaching you guys, right? Because it's a man in the car, so it's giving me masculine energy vibes, right? It doesn't mean that it's a, a man for everybody. This is based off of energy. This is the whoever is watching you, whoever is thinking about helping you, or thinking about approaching you in some sort of way, this could be platonic or romantic, whoever that is, is in their masculine energy. And when, when people are in their masculine energy, they're the ones that do the approaching, you know? It doesn't matter if they're a man or a female. If you're in your masculine energy, you're the one that do, hey, what's up, you know? You approach the person and you give the offer or you establish that, con that, that contact, okay? There's somebody who's maybe thinking about coming in for you guys too. Some of you guys want a new love to come into your life, right? But that person is, if you are adding negative thoughts and negative energy into the situation, that person is being held at bay. They can't come through, you know, because they're being blocked. That's just how it, how it goes. Let's see what else we got here for you guys. Golden Orange Dragon. This says, this expands your light for ascension. Be a peaceful warrior. Help those in need. Remember, you're magnificent. Yeah, you guys have a more higher calling. That I feel like you guys in this group, you're being advised that you guys are more powerful than you think, right? You guys have a more a higher calling than you think you have. You're here to guide people. You're here to help people as well. So in order for you to be able to do that, you guys have to cultivate peace and patience within yourself. You feel me? You can't be too caught up in your masculine energy as well. You gotta also tap into the feminine, uh, divine feminine energies as well when it comes to being patient, when it comes to aligning yourself with spirit and being intuitive and, and trusting that intuition, having faith, allowing yourself to receive. Tapping into all those energies which fall along the feminine um, energy, you know, aspects to fall on on those to balance yourself out because some of y'all may be too much caught up in your masculine energies that you are not balanced right now and that you have to bring yourself back into alignment so that these things can come into into your life and come to fruition. What else we got here? Ooh. 
cultivation. Yeah. This is what are, are you guys spending time like spirit wants you guys to spend time getting to know yourself, getting to your essence, getting to 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 see what makes you happy. Right. So that you can be calm so that you can be at peace. This also may be even tuning things out that that trigger you and that keep you too much in your masculine energy when it comes to defending yourself, when it comes to negative outbursts, stuff like that, you know, being too aggressive. It's time for you guys to to really get back down to to who you really are. Right. And this is getting back down to what makes you happy. What kind of gifts that you have within you, you know. Think about the gifts. Think about what makes you sing, what makes you happy, you know? Because that is what's going to help you get back into that flow, get back into that balance that you need to be in right now. You need to be. The balance you need to be in to be in alignment with this abundance that is trying to come into your life, right? And it's time for you to actually take... Mm, some serious considerations of that too. Like to not just say, oh, well, I'll do it next week. Oh, I'll do it later. Da, da, da. No, it's like, no, you gotta do it now. Because you tapping into your passions, what makes you happy, what makes you smile, you know, what makes you feel free. You tapping into that energy is what's gonna bring you back into alignment, what's gonna bring you back into balance so that you're able to, to get out of your own way. You're able to, to not sabotage your own hard work that you're putting into to manifesting the things that you want to manifest in your life. Okay. We got optimism here. So this card says, if you're going to make up stories in your head about people and circumstances, please make them love stories with happy endings is yeah. This is like what you're focusing on, right? You need to focus on things that actually things going right for a change, you know? Yeah, I know that we've all had like tough times and da da da, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's not what we're focusing on right now. We're not focusing on that right now. There's a time and place for that shit, and right now is not the time and place. Right now is the time and place for you to focus on how things would be if they go actually go right. Not what could go wrong, how it could go wrong. What can go right? It's time for you to start being optimistic about the things that you're possible that you're that you're capable of achieving in your life, right? To get out of uh, the, the, the woe is me and nothing never goes my way kind of mentality, right? It's time for you to, to allow yourself just for once, just for once in your life to focus on and to see in your mind's eye how would things be if things actually went right? Things actually went, you know, You actually got what you wanted. That's what we need to focus on. Now we have taking chances. It's time to man up and start taking more chances within reason, of course. See what happens. And the affirmation on here says, I am not afraid to take more chances with the things I want. Hell yeah, y'all gotta take a chance on it. Even if it's something that you're not, not, not naturally, it's not how you naturally are. Some of y'all just naturally Debbie Downers. I don't know. Some of us aren't. You feel me? But if you are, y'all need to step outside of you. Let your pride and your ego go for a, a, a second and allow yourself to experience uh, a level of optimism, you know, joy, be able to smile. Live in the now. Live in the present moment. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow is not here. Today is the only moment that matters. The affirmation says I live for today. Fully in the present moment. Yeah, it's not. Stop thinking about tomorrow. What's gonna happen? Stop thinking about yesterday. The stuff that already has happened. Focus on the now and what you can create now, right? Because what you can create now may will have a direct effect on what you know is gonna take place in the future. You know, so the way forward is not focusing on the future. It's focusing on what's going on right now. What can what what can you do right now that can help your future self? You know. Call a truce. Accept the truth of Olive Branch or Olive Branch when they are given to you. Always seek to have peaceful resolutions in life. Affirmation says, I create a peaceful environment for myself and others. Hell yeah. Seek peace, not drama, you know? Not chaos, not confusion. 
because that, that allows the energy to flow better, easier for yourself. Because that's what we want, you feel me? We want that energy to flow so that we could, you know, be in more in alignment with the things that we want to manifest, okay? So, you guys, that's what I got for you guys for this group. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and you want to be a part of the fam. We'd love to have you over here. And um, comment down in the comment section. Let me know how you guys feel about it, if this resonated with you. All right? So we're going to go ahead and move on to group number two, the door. All right? So if you selected the door, this is going to be your reading. We're going to see what message your spirit team has for you. Let's go to clear the energy out here. All right, so let's start off with what you guys need to surrender starting off. Surrender your desire to control people. Mm. It says being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. So this is like, okay, sometimes we know uh, we wish people would act a certain way. Or let's say if you you know a person is going down the wrong path, you may not, you may want to direct them down a certain a certain path. It's like, no, let people do what the hell they're gonna, they want to do. But let them do, let the chips fall where they may, right? Don't try to be over controlling, trying to guide the situation because maybe you guys have the foresight to see where things are things are going. Don't um don't try to control things or people. Let people just be who the hell they are, who they're gonna be, right? Cause I always say, like, if you allow people to be who they're gonna be, they'll show you who they are. Like if you have any 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 um Whew, any feelings about, you know, yeah, any, I can't think of the word, but any, if you like worrying about, oh my God, this person's going to do X, Y, Z, da, 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 let them just be who the hell they are, right? You don't got to control people. Let them be, let them be who they are and you be who you are, right? The only person that you can't control is yourself, right? Because it says to more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. This could even be a situation that you're in right you may have a, a project or a goal that you're working on that you want to control the results you want to control the direction but spirit is like no if you do that if you try to control it the more you try to control it it's like that wild horse thing right the more you try to control it the more you try to run out there it's running the other the other way so if you had a situation either if it's with a person or if it's with something that you're working on with a money making idea, whatever it is, and that you you wanted to go a certain way, and you might want to go a certain way within a specific amount of time, that's the wrong type of energy that you're sending that you need to send out for that situation because that, that's sabotaging energy, you know, being over controlling. But spirit is like, yo, I need you to back off, right? Regroup, rethink things. And give the situation more room to breathe, right? Give a person more room to breathe. If you're working on a project, don't be on that project like white on rice every minute of the, you know what I'm saying? Allow it room to be patient is what I'm getting, okay? Be patient. And don't feel like you got to be in a rush, rushing things either. Okay, let's check the energy, all the energy around this situation. We got fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. This is all about the throat chakra, people. This is all about the throat chakra. On the bottom of the deck, we have deceit. This is all about you speaking your mind, right? There may be some people around you too. You see how this whole thing, surrender your desire to control people. There may be some people around you who are not being truthful, who are not being honest. You don't gotta tell them that. 
You don't gotta point out how they're being deceitful, how they're being dishonest. Let them, oh wow, no. Yo, where did that come from? Yo, I got let them hang themselves. Give them the rope they need to hang themselves. People will reveal themselves in time. Some of you guys have people around you guys who are very, very deceitful and they're not being honest. I'm hearing mask off, okay? Mask off. Allow these people to hang themselves because that's what they're going to do anyways. Wow, what the hell? Allow people to be who the hell they are. And there's also some people around you who you might know who may feel a certain way about you. This is only for certain people. There may be somebody that you know that's around you, who you know that likes you. You know has a crush on you, you know who wants to be with you. But it doesn't mean that you, you can't force this person to speak, you know? This person may have a block with their throat chakra when it comes to you, that they gotta work out for themselves, right? You can have one too. With the people with somebody that you like, you know what I'm saying? It could work both ways. Either way, this is people telling the truth, speaking their truth. There could be somebody who is afraid to tell the truth and you know that they have a truth to tell you, but they're not telling you. You can't force people to, to act before they're meant to act or if they even, even wanna act, right? Some of these people might not even wanna act, you know, but we cannot force people we cannot make people do things that isn't natural for them on their own time. This is like, you know, letting the chips fall where they may. You know, you keep going, doing your thing, you know, focus on yourself and keep doing your own thing and let people do what the hell they're going to do, right? And also in picking up too, that sometimes that we got to get out of this whole thing is like that this wishful thinking thing with people, you know? Sometimes people is going to be who they are, right? If you find out that somebody's deceitful, you got to sp speak on it, speak on that shit and keep it moving. You feel me? Don't feel like you have to Oh, this is what I'm getting too. Mm. I'm getting when it comes to speaking too. There's some situations where you don't have to speak on. Just ooh, <laughs> yo. It's so funny when these things come to my head. It's like, if if it's somebody who you find out that is not, you know, that is not honest to you, that is being deceitful towards you, that it's okay for you to cut their ass off and keep moving. You don't have some, some situations require, don't require you to talk. All right. Because when you find out that some people are doing X, Y, Z behind your back, what's there really to talk about? You've seen what you needed to see with this person. Why we need to keep talking? Why does there need to be some other conversations being had? You know, it's like, yo, you file. I see this person is file because a lot of times when you when you try to bring it to a person's attention, they go and lie to you anyways. You know what I'm saying? They're going to lie and say that they didn't do X, Y, Z. When they know they're a whole fucking snake in the grass. So it's like, why even waste your time? Why waste your time? And for some of you guys, there may also be people around you who are trying to control you, right? If somebody's trying to control you, that you need to get away from them and cut that thing off and keep it moving. You only can be who, who you can be. You can't be who somebody else wants you to be and vice versa, right? If it's, if it, if it's the other way around, speak your mind and don't let nobody else try to control you. Is what I'm getting too. See, be candid. Is that exactly when I said that? It said be candid. This is throat chakra energy again, right? If you know somebody's not good for you, if you know somebody's crossing your boundaries, let they ask no. Stay in your lane. You know, you don't gotta, you know, you don't gotta, you know, be too harsh towards them, but you can let people know, you know, nicely to stay in their lane, stay out your business. Quit trying to control you, quit trying to tell you what to do, right? Cause I'm getting some flattery information of information. Damn. Some information may come to you. Somebody may say something to you, but it's just flattery. You know, y'all know how I, let me tell y'all somehow I feel about flattery. 
when people come around with that, especially people that you don't know, they come around flattering you. It, that question always pops up in your head. Okay, what do you want? Like, okay, what do you, you brown nose and what the hell you want? You feel me? It's that kind of mentality, that kind of thing, you know? If you know somebody's fake and phony, <laughs> yo, some of y'all, y'all need to just do what, do what spirit puts in your heart. You feel me? Some of y'all may need to just like block people off and keep it moving. Some of y'all may need to let a motherfucker know, hey, I see you. I see you being shady. I'm not, I'm not with it. Stay away from me. So some of y'all might need to let them know. You feel me? But this is you speaking your truth. This is you being your honest and your true, true self. Especially when people are trying to... I'm hearing that some of you guys may have people around you guys who will try to flatter you, but in the same way they try to control you, right? This controlling people, this desire to control may be coming from somebody else, you know, as well. Some of you guys may be the person doing the controlling, and some of you guys may be the people who a person who somebody's trying to control. Trying to control what you say, especially with this throat chakra, this heavy throat chakra energy, right? You guys may be my truth tellers. You may be telling it how it is, you know? You may be telling it, you may be tearing some mask off of the situation, revealing some things about people, places, and things that people don't like. But it's like, keep doing you, you know? Don't let nobody try to tell you. Oh, shut up. Oh, da 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 whatever. No, we ain't doing that. You feel me? You got to follow what's true for you. Speak your mind when it's time for you to speak your mind, you know? As long as you're not, like, infringing on another person's, like, free will and stuff like that. Y'all know, some, some people... Y'all, hey, I'm not trying to be funny or nothing like this, but there's some people out there who don't understand con simple concepts. Like, if it, like, if, if somebody says, if you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all, that doesn't mean you shut up and, and that doesn't mean you don't say nothing when somebody's attacking you, idiot. That's not what that means. Cause there's some people out there who, who, who you sit there and post a little innocent comment like that and they will argue, argue you down with it. Oh, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. Bitch, I don't care. Give a fuck if you don't agree with it or not. I don't care. Because... I'm coming from a, a place of love. You feel me? I'm trying to tell y'all, anybody, if you don't have the, if some, if somebody didn't ask you for your opinion, you feel me? If somebody's minding their own business, don't come out of nowhere bringing negativity to that person. That's what that means to me. You feel me? That's what that means to me. It doesn't mean it's not an invitation for you to come in and try to argue. Because I ain't trying to argue with you, bitch. It, that don't make me no money. You feel me? I'm trying to argue with you. None of y'all. Especially when I know I'm coming from a good place. I'm coming from a place of love. You know? I'm coming from a place of empowerment. To help people. You feel me? So no, I'm not going to argue with you. Argue with your mammy. You feel me? Don't argue with me. But yo, that's the whole thing I'm talking about, right? There's going to be people that's, that's people that's like that. That their that, that that their whole mission is to to misunderstand you, but that's okay, you know, it's okay. Speak your mind, say what you gotta say, defend yourself. But I'm not talking about like speak your mind when 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 the other person didn't do nothing to you, when it's unwarranted, and you just gonna speak your mind, and you could potentially hurt that person's feeling. No, you got problems, you got issues that you need to work out. You need to go pray. You need to go to church. You need to go get baptized. Go do something. You need a spiritual cleanse. You need to take care of that demon that's that that that's conjured that you conjured up inside of you. That's what that is. You feel me? Let me keep going. Omega Dragon. It says harnesses the divine feminine power of creation. Y'all, some of y'all are too caught up in this in the masculine energy, right? Y'all need to embrace your more feminine side as well, right? Calm down. Be patient with people as well intention hold your vision birth the higher consciousness this is all talking about your spiritual connection right your connection with the divine trusting your intuition going with that taking a more a softer approach mm. 
because it's all about intention. Remember like that's how I said before when I posted a post and it says, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. The, that's the intention that was behind that was intended was of love, you know, of support. Like, no, don't attack this person. Don't, don't, don't tell this person, like, let's say if you don't like this person's pants, don't say, oh, your pants look trash. Da, 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 da. This person didn't do nothing to you. They're minding their own business. Don't say, don't do stuff like that. That's going to potentially hurt somebody when, when it's unwarranted. Not like when somebody's attacking you or when somebody's doing you something, somebody's doing you wrong, not for you to not say nothing because it's not nice, idiots. Some of y'all are dumb as fuck out there. Ooh, let me stop. Ooh. All right, spirit. All right, spirit. I'm going to calm down. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's somebody listen, listening to this. And it's somebody. Because I got people out there who they just, they just, they just, their agenda is to misunderstand me and to try to take positive things and make them negative. Bitch, you're doing reverse transmutation. You need to flip it the other way, idiot. Deep Blue Dragon. It says, keeps you safe by clearing your pathway. Trust that you are protected. Walk on the path of light. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? There's always going to be people around you guys who don't want to see you happy, who want to be, who want to play, uh, in, who want to be interference in your life, right? Who want to take you off your path, who want to, who don't like your light, you know? If you guys are walking the path of light, whatever that means for you, there's always going to be people out there who who don't want to see you do that. And they're going to want to try to knock you off of it. So they're going to try to pick, 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 pick. There's a reason why that story that happened to me came back up in this reading. Because some of y'all might be having people around you guys also who their job is like their job. They wake up every day. How can I, you know, misunderstand this person? Like, I'm not even going to try to understand them. Even if it's something simple as one, two, three, ABC, I'm going to be a dumbass. I'm going to dig into my idiot bank. You feel me? Dig into my bag of, uh, of, of dumb comments. And I'm going to say something ignorant to that person. You know, maybe to try to get a response out of them. Maybe to try to try to get them off of their path or whatever like that. Right? No, no. Spirit is saying that your pathway is being cleared. Right? They're protecting you guys. They're protecting us right here. You feel me? They're knocking these idiots out of the way. They're knocking anybody out of the way who's being deceitful. They're making these people, especially with the throat chakra energy, they're making these people tell on themselves. That's why I said some of these people are their own worst enemies. They're making them tell on themselves. And once they reveal themselves to you, block party. You feel me? Instant block party. Have a ball. Block party. That's what I'm feeling. It's a whole block party, baby. Once they let you know who they really truly are. Cause we don't have time. Y'all got y'all got too much to, to you guys have too much to uh go on for yourself for you to allow these people to to come into your life and even even get a response out of you like that. You feel me? Like say what you gotta say, block their ass, keep it moving. Or if you don't wanna say anything, just block them and keep it moving, you know? Calm. A breakdown is often followed by a breakthrough. Remain calm. Yeah, you see what you see? You see how this is working? Like some of these people may be trying to trigger you, right? Some of these people may be trying to push your buttons, or they know that they they they, they, they try at, at, to approach you at every angle. This is giving me spiritual warfare type vibes. They approach you at every angle, right? You guys have a higher calling and they know it. They approach you at every angle. You guys are speaking the truth and some people do not like it, right? They don't like the words that come out of your mouth. Although they try to misunderstand it, they do it on purpose. They understand what the hell you're talking about. You feel me? They know exactly what you're talking about. They're just trying to be stupid. Well, it's because they... Never mind. But yo, uh, <laughs> a breakdown is often followed by a breakthrough. Remain calm. So never let nobody tell you that you shouldn't be feeling a certain way. You shouldn't say a certain thing or you shouldn't stand up for yourself. Because in this case for you guys, spirit is like, yo, if you if you went off on somebody, don't feel bad about it. That yo, if you went, if you did went off, if you went off on somebody who really was being shady, you know, being one of those 
back alley weirdos, you know, trying to trying to signal to you and, and, and signal signal you into the alley so that they can attack you. One of those kind of shifty, shady characters, you know. If you may have you may have gotten somebody together, you may have cussed somebody out, you may have told somebody off. It's like it's okay, you know what I'm saying? You said what you had to say, you did what you did, it's okay. But now, okay, maintain your 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 calmness and your your serenity within yourself, you know? Because that breakthrough is coming for you. These people, that's what that's what it is. Some door is getting ready to open for y'all in this thing. The spirit is letting me know that some door is getting ready to open for you guys. Some, a door is getting ready to be bust wide open for you guys, right? That door is getting ready to be kicked open. And these people know that and they're trying to knock you off your path. Knock you because they're trying to fill you with illusions that make you think that you're not on the, the right path. So I'm hearing like, hey, you say what you gotta say, do what you gotta do, and then you get back on your path. You and you and you get back into that feminine divine energy, you know, uh, which is the power of creation, you know, and manifestation, and you get back into that mode and you keep moving forward, right? Fuck these holes, you feel me? Be alone. Some of y'all didn't I tell y'all like some people, this may be you find out something about some people, especially with the the seat card. You find out about some people who that you need to let go, right? I'm hearing blowing up bridges, blow up the bridge, you feel me? Be alone. Spend time alone to gain clarity, clear energy, and restore yourself momentarily, withdraw from it all. The affirmation is I spend time alone from the world to restore my balance. Yeah. Because some of these people may be trying to knock you off balance. Y'all got people trying to knock you guys off balance, but spirit is like, yo, pull away, say what you gotta say. Get their ass off of you and then pull back, you know, clear your energy so that you can calm down and maintain your get back into balance and get back on the task at hand. You feel me? Don't miss a beat. Peace of mind. That's what you need right now. Right. If anybody is around you and they ain't bringing you that peace of mind, it's block party for these hoes. You feel me? All day. That's how I that's how I operate right now. It's block party for me. You feel me? Everybody's. Every, anybody can get an, an invite to the block party. If you try to infringe on my peace, if you come with some weird, weirdo type energy, if you try to bring in chaos and confusion, it's the block party for you all day. I'm not putting on with nobody, you feel me? Because it's it's all about, y'all know y'all got a higher calling and you guys have a job to do here. Don't let these people stop you from doing your job. Right? It says be at peace with the way things are. Calm your mind. This is the calming energy again. Calm your mind to operate from a relaxed state. Exactly. Find peace. Because we need to be, in order for us to do what we need to do and, and to be in alignment with this breakthrough that's coming for us, this door, these opportunities that's coming through for us, we need to maintain a relaxed state of mind and find peace. The affirmation on here says, I relax my mind to a peaceful state and accept reality. Hell yeah. You accept people for who they are, and then you just keep it moving, right? Call people out on their shit. What are they doing to you? And then you, 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 you give them an invite, you know? Here's your, your ticket to my block party, and then you block their ass and keep it moving. You feel me? It's just that simple, actually. So that's what I got for you guys for this group. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this resonated for you, Comment down in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about it, okay? Uh, thank you guys for being here. And we're going to move on to the last group, okay? All right, you guys. We have the gumball machine for group number three, 3915. So, you guys, if you selected this, we're going to see what spirit has for you, what message the spirit has for you. Play the energy out. Let's check our first. Ooh, y'all see this jumped out. This just jumped out. Surrender to joy. It says a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. It's telling y'all to be happy. It's time to be happy. 
It's time to be happy. Y'all know I'm keep it real with y'all. Fuck all the bullshit. It is time to be happy. It is time to smile. It is time to be around people who are happy, who love life. Who are just living their best life and they're not with the drama. You feel me? It's time for us to let go of anything that is dramatic. Any people who try to keep up chaos and confusion, who who are always living out some sort of new drama in their lives. Nobody got time for that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Nobody has time for that. It's like, don't they get tired of that kind of stuff? Like, don't you get tired? Like, don't you get tired of being in a brand new drama after drama? Like, and then they try to bring that shit into your life? Like, no. I'm cool. I'm smiling. I ain't trying to argue with you. I'm not trying to hear about the who you arguing with. No. I want to be happy. I want to be free. You know what I'm saying? I want to jump, smile, skip, hop, have a good time, let joy in. Shit. Find a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Man, I want to have fun, you know? That's what I want to do. I don't want no no drama. You don't want no drama. You feel me? It's time for y'all. Spirit is like, yo, it's time for you guys to start doing things and stop thinking about it. There's some people that y'all need to let go. Some some situations you guys need to release. You already know what it is, right? You are, you guys already have it in your mind what it is. You already know. You you've already singled out these people, places, and things. You've already done that. So now it's time for you to to put those thoughts to action so that you can finally move beyond certain chaotic uh, situations that you may have found yourself in, right? Look, we have door to spirit, door to spirit, right? This is you leaving behind foolishness and moving back into this beautiful connection that we have with spirit, right? Cause spirit don't let you down. People can let you down all the time, you know? People come with a chaos, their confusion, with they with they fuck shit, with their bullshit, you know, with their insecurities. They try to attack you because they're insecure. They don't feel beautiful. They don't feel da da da. And they feel you feel some kind of way. They want to attack you to bring you down. But spirit ain't gonna do that. You feel me? Spirit loves you, and wants to guide you to create the the, the best experience you wanna you, you can have in this life, in this lifetime. So. That opportunity is opening up for you guys, right? You guys are, once you let this stuff go and you surrender to the good things, this door to spirit is opening up for you. Your spiritual connection will be uh, strengthened and increasing. You will see how much you guys are loved. You guys are supported. You guys are even guided as well. You know, things will come to you. You will receive uh, reminders. You will receive um, symbols, signals. In everyday life, whenever you walk, when you're walking around, you may see things on the ground that, that symbolize that support and that love that spirit has for you. You know what I'm saying? That your ancestors have for you. That your the angels that God has for you as well. You feel me? Whatever you consider. Because I consider spirit is everything. God, the angels, you know, your ancestors. It's all interconnected. You feel me? But yeah, this is you guys leaving behind this chaos and this confusion and moving more so into your spiritual connection finding peace finding that love you know finding that joy again feeling supported feeling secure Feeling that, that sense of serenity that's inside to where nobody on the outside can break it because it's that strong, you know? That whole connection. Cultivation, yes, it's time for you guys to cultivate the type of environment, the type of life that you want, okay? There's some people who don't fit the scenario, who don't fit the picture that you have painted for yourself inside your mind. You guys already know what it is that you want. 4444 four, four, four is what I just saw. 4444 four, four is what I just saw in the time. It is time for you guys to release and to let go of whatever doesn't fit in that picture, right? 
You guys want a happy life. You want a, a life that's free from chaos, free from confusion, free from drama, free from arguments and free from chaotic individuals. It's like, create that for yourself. But a part of that is letting these people, letting these situations, letting these environments, letting them go. Some of y'all are hanging around environments that are just chaotic and confusing, you know? That are even dangerous even. Y'all need to stop doing it. Like the ones, you know, you hang out in the hood where people are getting shot and shit like that. But you want to live a different kind of life. You need to stop hanging out on the corner. Stop hanging out in the hood. Get your ass out the corner. Stop hanging out at the corner store where you know they selling whatever, you feel me? Stop doing that and, and, and separate yourself from that so that you can create the type of life that you want, right? It's a sacrifice needs to be made, you feel me? You need to let these people go who don't serve your highest good. Let these environments go that don't serve your highest good is what I'm getting. What else we got here? We got Black Dragon. Some of you guys are like the black sheep in your family, right? You don't fit in. You guys are different from the people that are around. You're the black sheep from the people that are around you, different from people around you. That's why I said some of you guys are in environments that are not with conducive or that they, they don't they don't correlate to who you are. You guys have to move remove yourself from that shit, right? You don't gotta if you don't have to, you don't have to be around it, right? You have choices. Cocoons, you the black dragon cocoons you. See, it's protecting you. See that cocoon right here over what you're building? Cocoons you so that your divine potential grows. Hell yeah. Because some of y'all, y'all got a lot of talent within yourselves. But the environment that you're in is not healthy for that talent to grow, you know? Some of you guys have dreams that you want to achieve. And that environment that you're in or the people that you're around are not healthy, are not helpful for whatever you want to have to grow. Spirit is telling y'all to meditate, to reflect, and undergo a metamorphosis. It's time for y'all to transform, you feel me? Time for y'all to, to stop being that person who you know you're not because other people around you is that way. Some of y'all are destined for greatness. Y'all are destined for more than what the people around you guys have been achieving or, 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 or they are achieving right now. But in order for you to do that, y'all need to, to separate yourself, right? And allow yourself to connect and to blossom and bloom without any outside influence. Spirit is like, yeah, we're protecting you, right? We're protecting you and your dreams and your potential. Y'all got a lot of potential. That it's a lot of people around you who don't see that within you or they don't want to see that within you or they don't want to see you achieve your potential. That's why y'all got to distance yourself from certain people. We got Dark Blue Galactic Dragon. It says, this one helps you listen to the voice of the universe. Ignite the codes of your master blueprint. Access cosmic knowledge and enter higher service. See what I'm talking about? You guys... You guys are like the rose in a field full of full of fucking weeds. You feel me? Y'all like this rose that's blooming. This y'all can have haters galore. Y'all can have motherfuckers who hate you just just by how you look, how you sound, your light, and they try to get you caught up in. Somebody out there is getting is people around you getting getting you caught up in stuff because they see. That you have a lot of potential within you. They see that light within you. They see that you're going places. Or, you, or that you have the potential to go places. So they keep you caught up in some bullshit. But you will keep continuing being caught up in bullshit. Until you separate yourself from these people. And you go on your own path. There's my song. You can go your own way. Go your own way. That's that song coming coming through again. Go your own way. Some of y'all need to let these people go and stop letting these people influence you, trick you even, or play on your 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 kindness. Play your kindness for weakness. 
some of you guys are empaths and you feel sorry for people and you go along, you go riding in that car with them while they go and doing some BS and then you hear that you go getting caught up again, you know? Change course. See what, see what I'm talking about? See what I'm just talking about, you guys? It's time for y'all to change course, baby. It's time for y'all to change course. You see these keys. You see this door. Spirit is like, yo, I'm going to give you the keys to the door. I'm going to give you the keys to the safe even, to the bag. If you change course. Stop hanging around these idiots. You feel me? Stop hanging around. Stop. It, you see this heart right here giving you love, true love. Stop running behind that person who don't really love you. Stop trying to prove yourself to this person, trying to make them love you, and they ain't really respecting you. A closed door is an invitation from the life, from life to move in an even better direction. It's time to change course. Hell yeah, y'all got a door of opportunity in front of y'all. And Spirit is like, yo, I got the keys to the door if you just leave behind whatever the hell this is. You're going in the opposite direction. You leave these idiots behind. Y'all leave these demons behind. Y'all leave these situations behind that do not that do not serve your highest good. You know you can do better. You know this is not you. You know deep down inside that this is not you. Spirit is like, yo, I am the one that's going to show you the way. I am the one that's going to help guide you. Not these idiots on the streets, you feel me? Not these idiots out here that's around you. But it's up to you. Passion. Like y'all saw right here, we got hearts, heart-shaped keys, whatever the hell that means, whatever the hell that means. So this is, to me, this is like security, home, stability, abundance. That's what we're going to go with. Passion. Light up your life by honoring your deepest desires. Hell yeah, some of y'all not being truthful to yourself. You're not being true to yourself. As soon as you start being true to yourself and you let go of these people who, there's not really an alignment with it, with your true self. That's when things are getting ready to pop off for you guys. Y'all don't realize the stuff that's getting ready to pop off for y'all if y'all just have faith in yourself and you just allow yourself to, to be in alignment with what you want to be in alignment with, who you are. Stop trying to play a role and do what you got to do. You feel me? Be consistent. It says be, be consistent in everything you do. Surround yourself with people who share the same sentiments. It was not just talking about that. Y'all may be around the wrong people, may be in the wrong environment, may be, be in the wrong around yo this is new people y'all new friends new people new places new faces that are in alignment with who you are and what you want to manifest you know what you're passionate about because there's people who who are into what you're into you know there's people who want to go where you want to go it's up to you whether or not you're going to allow them into your life the affirmation says I am consistent and I welcome consistency from others. And these are with people who you can depend on. Right? Not people who are flaky. Not people who break your heart. Not people who uh, who stand you up. Who ghost you. None of that stuff. People who are actually going to be there for you. See the picture. See things from a different perspective. Don't stress over the minor details. See the bigger picture. The affirmation says, I detach from the minor details to see the bigger picture. Yeah, some of y'all could be like, oh my God, I don't see how this is going to play out. I don't see how this is going to go from A to Z. Don't worry about that. It's time for y'all to see things from a bigger perspective for you to take yourself out of the situation, right? And things, to see things from a bird's eye view. Things, see things from a higher level, then you'll be able to look down and be like, oh, okay, I see. I see. Because there's a lot of... Once you separate yourself from the situation, take your feelings out of the equation, you you may be able to see things that you haven't been able to see before. You may be able to see different pathways. If you look down on the situation, take your feelings out of it, separate yourself from people, places, and things, 
you may be able to see different pathways that are that are illuminated for you that you couldn't see because you were so invested into something, right? Or you were so invested into a certain way of something, of something, uh, the way something has to be. You feel me? But yeah, yo, that's up to you guys. That's what I got for you guys here. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And then if this resonated with you guys, comment down in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about it, okay? Thank y'all for being here. Much love and light to everybody out there. Y'all take care. Ciao.